Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Glasgow's Buchanan Bus Station. Today, something a little bit different for you. We're travelling from Glasgow to Aberdeen. What's the big deal about that? Well, if you go by train, you could be there in 2 hours and 30 minutes. If you go by coach, you could be there in 3 hours and 20 minutes. But today, it's going to take me 9 hours. Why is that? Because I'm using local buses to go from Glasgow to Aberdeen. This will be a challenge. Now, I've got a confession to make. A few months ago I looked into the possibility of travelling from Glasgow to London on local buses and it can be done, but it will take 22 buses over three days. Now I do some crazy stunts on this uh, channel, but that's one step too far. So if you're a YouTuber and you want an idea, please feel free to use that one. Send me a postcard when you get to London. Right, the first leg of this epic journey is between Glasgow and Falkirk on Midland Bluebird. Now I'm a Paisley boy. And although I've heard of them, I've never used them before. They leave from somewhere over the road there. I better get moving because they leave in about 10 minutes. I'll see you when we're in Falkirk because that's where the first of the challenges occur. See you then. While waiting for the bus to arrive, I was speaking to Mark, who's a Leeds United fan. Hi, Mark. Right, where is this bus? Okay, welcome to Falkirk. We arrived 15 minutes late. Um, I'm glad to be off that bus as well because someone had, how shall I put this, personal hygiene issues. Wow. Um, right, and also managed to survive the old Midland Bluebird to McGill's switcheroo. There are also diversion works here in the centre of Falkirk, so we've been dropped off at a place I wasn't expecting. Now I have to get to Garrison Place for the connecting bus. It's a number 38 for Stirling, but I'm only going as far as Larbert. Wish me luck. If someone had said I had to change buses at the Fourth Valley Royal Hospital in Larbert, I would have said, you're kidding, right? But here we are. I also managed to get off the bus one stop too early. We did pass a, a sign for the hospital back there and I thought, ah, it doesn't go to the hospital, it just stops on the main road. So I got off at the main road, but it does continue on to the hospital and I can see the, the McGill's bus in the distance there. And there's another one. Midland Bluebird, but it's a McGill service. I'm wondering if they've actually been taken over by McGill's, because the advertising inside that McGill's bus did say Midland Bluebird. 
and we did stop outside the Midland Bluebird Depot where everyone's wearing McGill's uniforms. I don't know. Two people actually recognised me at the bus stop at uh, Falkirk. That's a total of three so far and that's a personal best. Right, I've got about 25 minutes to wait until my connecting uh, bus onto Glenrothes. Good job I brought something to read. So what's going on? One moment we're in Larbert, now we're on a beach somewhere in Ayrshire. I haven't got the time to explain, but what I can do is say thank you to Readley for sponsoring this video. This is my local newspaper, the Paisley Daily Express. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get a copy of the Paisley Daily Express here in Ayrshire? You can't do it. It's impossible. I actually brought this one along for visual effect, but this is where Readley comes to the rescue. Readley offers over 7,000 local, national and international newspapers and magazines, so no matter where you are, there's something to interest everyone. I read a number of magazines. One regular publication is Business Traveller magazine. You can take the boy out of corporate travel, you can't take corporate travel out of the boy. Other favourites are National Geographic Traveller, with its amazing photography, and Wonderlust, which is so inspirational. And they're all available through Readley. Here's a question for you. Do you buy a daily newspaper, maybe five, six times a week? Add up how much that costs you per month. Readley is a fraction of the price, and you'd be saving the planet as well, as most newspapers just end up in recycling. Readley even allows you to download your choice of publication and read it offline. I've got a special offer for my viewers. Try Readley for two months free of charge, then it's just £9.99 per month. There's no subscription and you can cancel at any time. There's absolutely nothing to lose, so give it a try. There's a link below in the notes. Thanks again to Readley for sponsoring this video, for saving people money and for saving the planet. Right, let's get back to Larbot. I will tell you one thing, it's warmer at Irvine than it is here at Larbot. Here it's quite chilly and a bit wet as well. Right, we are now waiting for a stagecoach bus to Glenrothes bound for St Andrews. One disadvantage of doing all of these continual bus journeys is the fact they don't have toilets, so you have to make use of them where you can, so I had to nip into the hospital. Hey, they've got a Starbucks in there as well. I did think about it, but no, I've got a bus to catch and it leaves in about four minutes. Welcome to Glenrothes. You know, when I was at Larbert, I'm pretty sure the bus said Glasgow on the side and not St Andrews. I was too busy actually taking a photograph for a thumbnail. I'm going to have to look at that when I get home. So Glenrothes, what can I say? It's one of five new towns that were built in Scotland after the Second World War. Can you name the other four? Yep, that's one. But can you name all four? They are East Kilbride, Cumbernauld, Irvine and Livingston. Can you name the town which was going to be a new town, but never got developed, it never happened? 
That was Stonehouse near Straven in Lanarkshire. It was planned to be a new town and then it all fell through. Anyway guys, I'm here. I give myself a bit of a buffer between buses just in case they're running late. And I think there's a bus over there going to Dundee. And I've got two options. I can either catch that earlier bus to Dundee, which means I have more time in Dundee than I expected, or I could go in there and have a cup of coffee and maybe a cake and get me up to cruising altitude. What do you reckon? It looks as if fate decided for me. While I was filming the Welcome to Glenrothes clip, I could see in the corner of my eye the earlier Dundee bus that was running late. By the time I'd finished recording, it had taken off, so it was a coffee. Right, stagecoach to Dundee, due in around about 25 minutes. Make that 29 minutes, because the bus is running late. So, I'm here at Glenrothes bus station for 29 minutes. What do you do when you've already had a coffee and an Empire biscuit? You look at buses. And so we're in Dundee. Bus arrived 15 minutes late, giving us 20 minutes until we catch the next stagecoach bus to Aberdeen. You know, I was just thinking, my father's mother was from Dundee. So I guess that makes me one quarter tea cider. Yeah, I might edit that bit out.
Missed it by 10 minutes. Well guys, Aberdeen Railway Station is the place I was not expecting to be tonight. Uh, I gave myself a one hour buffer between the end of this epic video here in Aberdeen and returning back to Glasgow on CityLink. I arrived one hour and 10 minutes later than expected. I'll explain everything in the morning when I'm a little fresher. I've got a train to catch. Well guys, it's the afternoon after the night before and I've got a few updates for you. Firstly, I was looking to find out why McGill's were getting involved in British Bluebird. Apparently they own the company now. They also own Eastern Scottish. When I look back, I think I was actually lucky to have finished that journey yesterday because today alone, there are 81 services across the Midland Bluebird and Eastern Scottish network cancelled due to a uh, shortage of drivers. 81 cancellations. So I was lucky to make it to Aberdeen but I only just made it to Aberdeen. The bus left uh, Dundee 25 minutes late, got to our both 35 minutes late, Montrose 35 minutes late, and I thought, well, at least we're not losing any more time. Haha, -ha, yes, we were. Um, I'd given myself a one hour buffer between the end of that video and me catching the last CityLink service back to Glasgow so I could catch the train on to Paisley, the last train of the day. Um, 15 miles out of Aberdeen, the bus ground to a halt and the driver said due to mechanical problems we couldn't continue, but he'd arranged for another bus to pull up behind us in a couple of minutes and we could continue our journey onto Aberdeen. Excellent. However, the bus we were on was an X7, which was an express, and the bus that came behind us was a 7B, and I swear that went to every cul-de-sac, every hamlet, every village along the way, every retail park. We arrived one hour and ten minutes after we were scheduled to arrive. Needless to say, I missed that coach that I had been booked on and I had to pay for a train ticket onto uh, Queen Street. That cost me £30, but at least I knew I'd get home that night. Or so I thought. Uh, we weren't that far from Montrose when we started losing a lot of time. Apparently there was a late running train ahead of us and that was slowing us down. It must have been a freight train or something because we just groaned, we just trundled along. We got into Queen Street 22 minutes late and there I am running through the streets of Glasgow on a Friday night going around all these drunk people to get to Glasgow Central for the last train to Paisley. That was a nightmare. So what did I learn? Well at the start of this video I, I, I joked about going from Glasgow to London on local buses, 22 buses over three days. Has my idea of that changed? Absolutely not. I, there's no way I would do it. That was, it was stressful enough doing a five sector journey up to Dundee or six sectors as it ended up being. I would not do that to London. That is. Um, you'd have to be observant, you have to be observant because they did the old uh, Midland Bluebird to McGill's switcheroo on me twice. You have to really think on your feet and um, yeah, yeah. the, the timekeeping is very questionable on these buses, maybe because they operate in an urban environment and therefore they're more subject to traffic delays and whatever, but you really have to have your wits about you. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along on this journey. Would I ever do it again? At the moment, no, but never say never but definitely nothing's in the pipeline, that's for sure. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.